Who's ready to dance? I'm ready to dance. Annyeonghaseyo. I'm Stephanie, a fellow dancer, here to teach you Dun Dun by Everglow. And today I will be teaching you guys the rest of the dance. So, let's get started. So, second course, completely different from the first one. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a series of this, 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 and this. So, follow the hands now. We're going to go back down, or we're going to go hop onto our left. We're going to cross our hands in front. You don't have to pick up your feet very high, actually. So you can go like this. Then we're going to bring them down as I go onto my right foot. Go back up onto my left foot. We're going to then punch up. Then I'm going to go one, kind of with my hands on top of each other. Then to the other side, we're going to switch our hands. And then from there, I'm going to step and make my feet or my toes face front, hands out to the side. From there, I'm then going to step and we're going to go one and two and three, slow. So it's going to be like fast, fast, slow to here. From there, I'm going to then, from here, I'm going to circle my hands up above my head like this to a cross, and I'm going to bring them down. So that's just with the hands. So I'm here, I'm then going to pick it up, and then place my right foot to the right, bring my hands down. I want to make sure that I'm slightly leaning to the right, and then from there, we're going to slowly kind of go down right. So we're going to go down right, circle to the left, once you get to about here, I'm then going to keep, bring my knee in. So this whole slow circle part with the upper body should not be moving your knee very much. So if I'm here, then I'm going to bring it in quickly. I'm going to step again, popping my chest to the right, circle it to the left. So like one and then two. We're going to cross our hands in front of our chest like this. And then we're going to sit down on our left hip. Hands out, bring the right hip out, and down. So, again, if I'm here, I'm going to go down, down. From there, I'm going to then lean down to the front right corner, hands down, like I'm bringing my palms together. Lean forward, then switch over to the right, bring it up to bring our feet together. And we're going to take a few steps. We're going to take one, and then two. You can flick the hair if you want, but it's going to be like one, two, bring the hands out, one, two. So, on that last one, then I'm going to go up. We're going to do the same thing as we did before. Place one, two, to here. So, the parts kind of diverge there. So, you can either do one, two, and then bring your feet together, turn to face right hands down to the side or you can do the full thing so you can go like one two three four and then from there you either go to the right side or sorry the right side or the left side so now let's review that part before we go on so after our turn you're going to go one two one wait like a count or so and we're going to step right left to center one, two, three, very slow. Circle the hands up, lift the foot. Down to the right, circle upper body very slowly. Bring right knee in to the right, circle to the left. Cross, one, two. Lean to the left, then to the right. Bring your hands up, one, two three, four, and one, two, three, bounce this step, one, two, to either facing to the right or doing the whole thing and then going to your respective sides. From here, if you have the people that's going on the sides, your, guy, your guys' parts come later. I'm not going to go over that part, so definitely check down the description box below for more details on that. For here, I'm going to be following the people that are facing exactly to the right, here. So then from there, I'm going to place my left foot in front, and I'm going to come down. So with the hands, I'm going to kind of cross to here. 
So I'm going to cross. My right hand should be to my hip. My left hand should be sliding down my inner thigh. And we're going to come down to here. So again, right hand should be to the hip. Left hand should be kind of moving more to the knee. And we're going to stick out and circle our right, our left hip, sorry, left hip like that. With the hands, we're just going to go like this to a fist. I'm then going to place my left knee more to the left, so I'm facing the front right corner. I'm going to bring my hands around my chest and down to about the hips here. And then I'm going to go one, two, three to here. So I want to make sure that my back is sort of arched. And then we're going to stand up so their feet, knees are together. Then I'm going to go down and to the left with the hands to here. I'm going to turn. So my knees are facing up. I'm facing to the right here. Hands behind my back. And then from here. Then going to do a bridge. So body should be about level with your foot. And here you're just going to kind of be on your uh, heel. And then come back down. And from there, I'm going to sit. I'm going yeah, to lay on my left side. I'm going to bring, come back onto my knee. Sweep my right arm to the front. Bring my right left knee up. And then place my hand on my left knee. So from here it's going to be like one, two, to here. From there then, the other people on the side are going to do their things. So they're going to do like two back and forths. And then on that third one, you're going to stand up, walk to your position. And from here, I'm going to be following the soloist, which I believe is Mia. We're going to go one, two, up to above my head. So my hand should be like this. Above my head, bring your elbows out, bring them in, and then bring them out as I slowly bring my hands into a fist. So it's one, two, one, two, like this. And I want to make slow, kind of slightly look to the right. So now let's review that part before we go on. So from facing right, I'm going to slide down and kneel, circle the hip to here. Around the chest, one, two, three to the arch. Bring the knees together, fall to the left, turn to face right, bridge, come down, onto the left side, come up, and kneel on your right knee. From there, you're going to wait two back fourths, stand up on the third, one, two, three. About steps to position to be a solo. One, two, three to here. So after this part, and then then I'm going to go to this position, and we're going to do the first chorus again. So I'm going to go quickly because you guys should know this part. From here, you can switch sides, so you can either continue to the left or you can continue to the right. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to go to the right and one, two, three, step. One, two, three, and then come down. So if you're Mia, you're actually going to kind of just walk around after the this part. You're just going to kind of walk around to the back and then to the next to that next part. But you can actually s smash those parts together. So after this part, and then step, and then we're going to one, two, three, and then down. We're going to quickly hop so that our feet are hip distance, hands down to the side. We're going to wait like a count or so. We're going to come, we're going to hop down onto our right knee, right hand down to the floor, and then stand up. Here I can slightly face the front left corner if I want to. From here I'm then going to step to the right, to the left, sorry. I'm going to step to the left, circle my hands inwards, and then I'm going to step to the right, and then I'm going to place, 
as I kind of slightly cross my arms, and then I'm going to step to the left as I bring my arms down to my side. I'm going to hop, so that my feet are kind of first position here, hands behind head. Then I'm going to take one very small step, we're going to go like one, two, with the chest, and we're going to slowly comb down. So we're going to go one, two, three, down to the knee. So if I can go a little, I'll try to go a little slower. I'm going to go one, knee in, bring it out, knee, come down to the knee, and then here we're going to kick up. So the, so the trick here is to actually lean as far back as you can to bring that foot all the way up, then bend it in, bring it out, and you're going to stand up, and then from there you're going to do a slight head circle to the left as I bring my leg kind of like this. So I'm going to cut. It's a slight stretch, but we're going to go like this. And I'm going to switch so that my right leg is under myself. From there, I'm then going to come up to this position here. So if I'm here, it's going to be like one, two, to here. So again, from here, once I'm here, I'm going to do one more big body wave to here. And then I'm going to hop so that I'm in this position here. And then we're going to go one, two with the head. So we're going to do tilt to the right, tilt to the left. One, two, hop. One hip circle, two hip circle, knees bent. Bring it in. So we're going to bring arm, right arm, circle around to here. Bring it in. Bring up, everything up. And come down. So I should be like this. Right hip should be sticking out. And then one, two, three, to your position. So you can either be in the, you can do whatever position. You can do this, this, you can go to the other side as well. You can do this, this. It's up to you in what position you want to end with. So now let's review that part before we end the stamp. So now let's review that part before we end this tutorial. So I'm not going to go over that first chorus part because you guys should know it. But from here, one, two, three, down. We're going to hop, wait like a count or so, hop down to the knee, and come up. To the left, right, and out slowly. Hop, one, two, three, down to the knee, and bring the right leg up, bend, bring it out, circle around, and switch. One, two, to the knee, body wave, and hop, one, two with the head, one, two, hop. Circle straight, circle bent, bring it in, up, down, one, two, three, to your position. Great job, guys. Give a hand to yourself because you learned this whole dance. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned all of this dance with me. That makes me really happy. And if you wish to review what we've learned in this part, take a look down in the description box below. Anyways, I challenge you guys to bend me because I know you can. Also, please do subscribe for more cool dance tutorials like this if you haven't. That would be awesome. And I'll see you guys next dance. Happy dancing!